we're so excited about this. Yeah. Back now with our first day of Our Planet on GMA with our sponsor Netflix. We're counting down to their original new series narrated by the legendary David Attenborough. And who better to travel to some of these incredible places than our own adventurous Ginger Z. I'm going. Where are you going now? We're ready. You're I am so excited. Up to something. Yes. Well, this is going to be a journey that I get to take all of you on all week. And our first stop, the Platte River in Nebraska. Yes, for millions of years, Sandhill Cranes have used this river as a safe haven. Well, when they're in the area, they were at risk. But now conservationists have swooped in to protect the land. And you have to see the story. The symphony of sound, the majestic flight, one of the largest wildlife spectacles on the planet, the sandhill crane migration. So we can see them coming in waves. In total, 660,000 sandhill cranes will come through right here. From mid-February through mid-April, the sandhill cranes will migrate from the south, coming from areas in northern Mexico and Texas, all converging on Nebraska's Platte River Valley, before spreading out again on the journey to their breeding grounds across the north. Basically, they're fueling up. Mm -hmm. They're eating as much as they possibly can. I think of it as the world's largest cocktail party. Hosting that party? The 70-mile stretch of the Platte River, where they rest, refuel, and find a mate. Their unique crane courtship involves a little dance, wing flapping, bowing, and jumping. But over the years, the relationship between the cranes and the river has been put to the test. Humans began taking more and more water for our own use. The river's flow changed, leaving less and less space for the cranes. Conservationists now manage the river's flow in such a way that it still creates the sandbanks the cranes need. An issue our sponsor Netflix explores in their new series, Our Planet. We're seeing so many parts of the Earth, but an important part for you was to come here, to Nebraska, to the Platte River. Why? It's a true emblem of what we can have if we really conserve our freshwater habitats. Mm -hmm. Freshwater is the lifeblood of the planet. It's the element that connects all of us, and what happens here depends on what happens upstream. So it really does show that everything has to work as a system. Lara had a good one. It's like Match.com, yeah. but at the Platte River. PlatteRiver.com. <laughs> it is an inspiring example, though, of how we can share resources with animals that truly need yeah. it. You're going to have to tune into GMA every day for more adventures. And for our final stop on Friday, I'm going to take you live to one of the world's largest waterfalls. Oh it is going to be so special. You can keep up with my live reporter's notebook on GoodMorningAmerica.com. You are truly amazing. Flying out tonight. So Thank you so much for today. bringing the world to us. We really do appreciate it. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.